The Miles of Hope Breast Cancer Foundation is a public charity organization that was established in 2004 by Kathy Varanuk and Dana Efron. Its mission is to support people affected by breast cancer in the Hudson Valley. The organization started with a couple of modest events to raise awareness and funds and has grown over the years with multiple events and millions of dollars raised to help friends and neighbors in eight counties of the Hudson Valley. Joining us in the studio are Amanda Tierney and Mary Shantz to talk about one of the events under the Miles of Hope Foundation umbrella, and that is the Goals for Hope Women's Soccer Tournament coming on August 1st. And ladies, thank you so much for coming in to talk about this. Thank you for having us. Thank you. This is a major event. If anyone has ever been there to, to see it, I mean, there's uh, you're at Stringham Field in LaGrange and that entire park, which is a huge park, is completely overtaken by all levels of people playing soccer. Correct. We have people playing from age 18 on up till that. There's really no cap until they decide that they don't want to play anymore. Um, and we have, this year we have approximately 30 teams playing. Um, we usually bring a little over a thousand people to the to the field for the day, um, at least at one time. Sometimes people come and go during the day. Right. Um, so yes, it's a very full field and a very fun day. Yeah, and um, level of play ranges from what was the? Uh, it's uh, the moms who don't normally play anymore. What was that? Soccer mom. <laughs> Soccer mom. No, say yeah, so easy. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, for women who aren't really competitive anymore, play, maybe play in the day, or have never played, right? Correct. Yes, yeah, so we try to recruit as many people out to just support the day and participate, and it goes from um, ex really experienced players who are still potentially playing at the college level mm -hmm. to women who have never played before and are just coming out to try. Yeah, now you guys are soccer players from, the, from back in the day, right? Yes. Is, is, are you still playing competitively? No. No. <laughs> no. Recreationally, I play year round. Yeah, you do, but recreationally. Okay. Uh, let, let's go back to uh, when this whole first thing began. Uh, Miles of Hope Foundation was, was out and about. They were doing a couple of little things, but uh, Judy Rose, who is a personal friend of mine, I used to work with her at Cablevision, uh, and you had kind of put this thing together and had this thought to include women's soccer uh, tournament for this foundation? Um, I was playing with a group of women who um, we'd been together for years and we heard about a tournament down in the New Jersey area and we it was goals for life and we had such a good time doing that and helping raise money that two years in a row I believe on our way back home we talked about how can we do this in our area and what should we do it for and it was the question was answered very easily because I was at a down on the soccer fields in Poughkeepsie um, for the St. Martin's um, field day with Kathy Baranak. We were friends through our kids' school, and she started talking about Miles of Hope, and I was talking about what we had just done, and it naturally came together. Let's have a tournament for Miles of Hope. So now you are in the twelfth year for this. Yes. yes. Yeah. Twelfth year for the tournament. Um, I would imagine that a lot of people who have have started it, put in their time, kind of moved on. You have other people coming in, and it's all about that uh, regeneration of volunteers because it all happens through volunteer work. Correct. Correct. Yes. We we need the volunteers. We thrive on the volunteerism. Yeah. With the referees are volunteers and the. Um, the committee, obviously, and the volunteers that come day of just to show support and do whatever is needed. Yeah, so if uh, you would like to volunteer, uh, we'll put a, a information up here on the screen for you to get involved and what a great and worthy cause it is. But uh, let's talk about uh, every year you have an honoree, uh, a, a survivor of, of breast cancer. And uh, this year it is Karen Shogren. Yes, Karen Shogren. She's been a long time supporter of Goals for Hope, both as a player and a referee. She's um, a remarkable woman who gives selflessly to her community, both in soccer and church and schools. Um, and she's just a, a real overall wonderful person who's pretty saturated in the soccer world. Mm -hmm. And um, she was diagnosed in 2009, and she's a five plus year survivor. 
five plus year survivor, and she's involved. I mean, she was president, wasn't she president of the East Fishkill Soccer Club or something? I mean, she's, but she hasn't missed a step in those five years. She's she just been, not. She's been remarkable. Going she, yes, president of the East Fishkill Soccer Club. She was the founder of the Top Soccer Program, which yes. is a special needs program through yeah. East Fishkill. Yeah. Um, she is pretty amazing and inspirational to others around her. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember one winter when she was still in treatment and she would come to the women's uh, soccer games at the net at Gold's Gym with a bandana and a face mask and she'd take the field. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> what an inspiration. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's great that you're honoring her this year. Let's talk about the money because what I'm most impressed about this organization as a whole is that that money that's raised stays right here in the Hudson Valley. Uh, so um, if you could talk about the, the types of things the money goes towards. So Miles of Hope has four pillar programs. Um, the Medical Gap Care Fund, which pays for anything, it's financial assistance for anything that insurance does not cover while patients going through treatment. Um, we have peer-to-peer -peer counseling, which unites um, newly diagnosed patients with people who are, who are survivors who um, help them and support them through their journey. Um, we have complementary medicine, which, are, which is any type of therapeutic um, medicine that's going to help somebody get through their treatment, and the scholarship program for um, college-bound seniors who have been affected by breast cancer in some way. Yeah, up to a thousand dollar scholarship, yes. which is pretty significant for a family looking to send a kid to college these days. Uh, but also, uh, you know, just so people know, because I think that's part of this whole thing is the awareness of, of what's available to people who are suffering from this disease and families that might be torn apart by it. But the transportation cost, uh, uh, mammogram checkups, uh, gas cards, uh, you'll pay fuel and oil for a home to help people out. I mean, that's, um, it's amazing when you think about what you do, but uh, the best part about it is that it's here. It stays right here in the valley, and you could quantify it and see where the money is going. All right, so this event is on August 1st, mm -hmm. and you're still taking signups for registration, or are you guys closed out? We have limited space available. You do? Yes. Okay. I mean, we, we would hate to turn anybody away. Yeah. We would, but we're also so eager to get organized and, you know, move on to the next phase of scheduling and, you know, um, just, yeah, the organization aspect of it, tying up the loose ends. Okay. And so then uh, there's, there's about five events that happen throughout the year through the Miles of Hope Foundation. And then the, uh, the signature event is, comes up in, what is it, September? Is that the walk? The, the big walk that you guys have? And I don't, it, the, the walk is, I'm not sure if it's September, mm -hmm. it used to be October. Yeah, it's September, it's October it. time mm -hmm. frame. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, right now, what we're focused on is the uh, Goals mm -hmm. for Hope uh, tournament. And um, hoping for a good day weather-wise, obviously. And uh, tell me, uh, just from your own vantage point as we close here, what does it mean to you uh, to be involved, especially with the soccer portion of this overall foundation? I love how we get to be a part of watching the community come together to help other people. It's very touching. It, it is about the money as far as, you know, so we can assist the people who need it. But the, the support and the love shown to others, um, the selflessness that we witness, the people that we meet, that's what keeps us going. And that is my favorite part of the whole thing and Miles of Hope. And Amanda, how about you? I think it's just amazing how we can take something so simple as soccer mm -hmm. and use it as a platform to help so many people, especially in our community, knowing that it goes to our neighbors and our families and our friends. And I mean, to be able to do that is uh, a gift for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want information, you want to get involved in volunteers, they, they definitely need volunteers uh, all the time. Here's some information that you could uh, sign on to uh, the website or call to get more information of how you can get involved either monetarily or uh, volunteerism wise and uh, help out with this great cause. August 1st is the Goals for Hope Women's Soccer Tournament at Stringham Park in LaGrange and uh, we hope that you'll be there. I know we'll be there covering it and uh, covering all the, the glory and the guts and all that stuff from the girls. Uh, so we're looking forward to that as well. 
And uh, Amanda, Mary, thank you so much for, for coming in. And we look forward to seeing you on the first. Thank you, Charlie. Great. Thank All you. Right. And we'd like to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.